Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and in this video, I'm going to explain how we can restore data from S3 bucket to Redshift. So in Redshift, we have a cluster method and a serverless provisioning method, right? So I have explained all two in our previous videos. If you have not aware about that creation, so please refer that video and create the cluster. I already have a serverless uh, work group. I'm going to use that work group to restore data from an S3 bucket to uh, Redshift. All right, for that, I'm going to um, use a sample database. So here is a GitHub link where you can get some sample databases. Like, you know, this contains a lot of uh, information. So it's like uh, I used same repository to download um, one. All right, so yeah. So first let's uh, create a bucket. And uh, I'm going to call this as um, 2201.redshift demo. Hope nobody taken this bucket name. And I'm going to enable block public access. Versioning is disabled. I'm going with default encryption then create bucket. All right, bucket created. And let me upload that um, data. Click on upload, add files. It's on my, uh, one of the folder, sample data. Right, so this is the data. Let me upload this. So let me quickly open and show you. So it contains, um, thousand entries so it actually contains uh, index customer id first name last name company city country phone number one phone number two email and subscription date and website all right so this all data i want to um, get it to my redshift cluster so whenever we are creating this redshift serverless or provisioned we have an option to give uh, provide an IAM role. So if you observe when you select this default namespace or your custom names namespace under under security and encryption, we have this permissions. So if this role I have created manually, so you also create a role. So basically we are going to get data from S3 bucket to Redshift with the help of this role only. So this role actually contains S3 read-only access. If you want to limit this permission to only one specific bucket also, we can do that. Even if you want to like, you know, uh, create a role, it's not a big thing. It's very simple. So go here, create role, select use case as a, a redshift as we are going to associate this with our redshift. Redshift customizable, click on next. And here, what policy? You want to allow S3 full access, S3 read-only access. You simply create that role and uh, associate that role to your um, namespace. If it is a cluster also, similar mechanism. So now, let's go to this query editor v2 and um, let's get connected to it. So navigate here and um, you can uh, connect from starting it is using the previous connection so we can go here create connection now it will ask us you want to go with the federated user option or database user and password or secrets manager so while creating that um, uh, namespace i have set up uh, the required user and password so that is rs admin and I have given a password. So then click on create connection. Now by using that credentials, we got connected here. So here expand this dev. So basically this is a public database. Here we don't have any tables, nothing. So as I told you, I have some data here in this S3 bucket, right? I will load the data to this Redshift now. For that, click on load data here load from s3 or you want to load from your local uh, file so you can even choose the csv from your local laptop itself instead of uh, placing it to an s3 bucket so click on load from s3 bucket click on browse 
so then you go and choose the s3 bucket so this is the bucket we have created and this is a file customers.csv is a file then click on choose and this file is in csv format i'm going to choose the same and uh, delimiter character is comma ignore header rows the first uh, header row actually contains the information right so even if you observe um, this file so this is actually header so if you have ms sql uh, sorry um, if you have uh, microsoft excel uh, so you can look better so i'm um, i'm opening with uh, some sheet and yes these are the csv format file so this is the header so i'm going to ignore that header rows here all right so then um, click on next we have some options like uh, conversion parameters and load parameters okay so if you want to you can use that let's click on next and here you want to load existing table if you already have a table uh, within this uh, dev database you can uh, load to that otherwise you can create a new table i don't have any tables under this dev so i'm going to uh, choose this load new table and uh, i have selected my cluster or work group the database is dev and uh, the schema is public and table name what table name you want to give i'm going to call this as customers uh, table name as a customers and it is going to pick all the information column information from that uh, given csv file if you want to set something as a primary key you can select that here select this um, primary key so this index is going to treat it as a primary key here even if you want to add column you can do that here now how you are going to get the data from s3 bucket to here so with the help of this iam role i'm going to choose that role here then click on create table all right customer table created now we are going to load data click on load data all right so basically this is a command to load data aws is going to run this command let me take a new tab so it is this is a command copy command it is um, using to this uh, database this is database this is schema this is table right so from where it is going to get all the data from this s3 bucket right to perform this operation how it is gaining permissions or credentials um, so the credentials are going to provided by the role associated role so it is formatted as a C csv format delimiter is comma right where uh, the region is ap south one all right so this query is going to execute yes customer table is created successfully and you see here load into table customers completed thousand records loaded successfully all right so let's verify go and verify i'm going to close this now so here is the dev expand that public schema and tables earlier this is zero but now you can see we got one tables the table name is customers so if you click here it is going to show all that indexes and all and um, if you want to query something so i'm going to give a right click and uh, click on select table right so when you run this it is going to list um, 100 customers information you see here this all 100 customers information if you want to add additional like you know things like a uh, uh, conditions like a where country is equal to you can define the country you can pick country from here you can define the country okay so you can run all your queries here so this is how exactly we can uh, load data from an s3 bucket to redshift with the help of an iam role all right that's it uh, for this video if you found this video helpful please take a minute and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos on uh, aws thank you see you again in next video